Let's talk about Echo. 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 Now there will be spoilers in this. If you haven't seen it, then go check out my spoiler free review. And if you have, and or you just don't care, they continue watching. The general consensus on the internet is that this show is mid and I agree with that. However, there are some positives to this show. For example, Echo as a character, amazing. She's pretty good. <laughs> and I'll be real with you for a second. I did not know about Echo until Hawkeye. I had not read any of the comics that she's in. And so she was a completely new character to me. And in Hawkeye, I felt like she was like just there. She didn't serve much purpose to the plot. However, in this, she's pretty good. And the whole ASL part also, I really like. Her getting in touch with the heritage was also really cool, but also just took the plot nowhere, which kinda sucks. However, there are also bad things with the show. <laughs> Are you serious? For example, Kingpin was extremely wasted. The MCU seems to be wasting Kingpin in the two projects that he's in so far. Hopefully Daredevil Born Again actually brings back the old Daredevil Kingpin. Don't give me hope. And him running for mayor is also an interesting storyline that will be explored. And also the whole way she like beats Kingpin is quite confusing because it's unclear as to what she actually does. Or maybe I'm just stupid and I don't realize what she's doing. So if you do, someone please let me know. But I feel like she just goes inside his mind and then he just gets out of it and runs away. Why are you running? Why are you running? Another bad thing is just that I felt like them dropping all five episodes on the same day meant that it was quite boring to actually watch all five because the whole reason some of these shows do really well, the whole reason like WandaVision and Loki worked so well, and even Moon Knight and, and the other shows, is that it was weekly episodes so we had people talking about it weekly. With Echo, pretty much people talked about it for four days and no one has since. It should have been weekly instead of binging everything on the same day. Now the Daredevil fight scene, it's about like three minutes. I don't know who said it will be seven minutes on the internet but you lied Liar! and it is probably one of the best parts of the show definitely the highlight of the show if someone was to watch the show and then you ask them what was the best part of it they would definitely say this fight it was all one take it was proper violent it felt like a john wick fight and this is probably why you got the tvma rating because literally nothing in the rest of the show warrants a tvma rating but this fight was extremely gruesome and i loved it so good now overall, I feel like this show was a 6 out of 10 and it's not bad but it's also not completely good and like it's definitely better than Secret Invasion but it's not better than One Division per se. I do like this whole spotlight concept bringing heroes that no one really knows about into the light and I hope they do it with more characters who are just as interesting as Echo. Let me know what you thought of the show in the comments below. I really would like to know other people's thoughts on the show and subscribe whilst you